Well, hey guys and gals, Malkuth, 1974, back at you. Another episode of Satisfactory. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of our steam, not steam, sorry, our steel production. And we're going to go actually do it down there. But I figured I'd just go over a few things first. <clears throat> I have unlocked everything I can in the current tiers, which I believe is four of the four we have right now. Yeah, so everything's unlocked that I found. Of course, there's still some more stuff that I can find and we can unlock. So now we got to get to tier five and six. And I'm almost to that point, too. So we just got to, we'll, ah, we'll go over that when we, uh, we get to the steel, because we need steel to actually get to that point. So first of all, let me go back over here again. Actually, I guess this would be second of all, wouldn't it? Because I already did the first of all. <laughs> second of all, <laughs> um, uh, you, you'll you have to make steel first. As you can tell, I have some steel stuff already. I actually got quite a bit of steel, but uh, uh, where is it? Like steel ingots and stuff. You can make steel ingots with uh, iron ore and coal. And then with that, you obviously make your steel beams. And uh, you steel ingots, and they can make steel beams, steel pipes, and you can make encased industrial beams, and of course stators, stators, which go into motors, and then you have heavy modular frames. Uh, you can make all that from the bench to get you started to where you want to get. So after you unlock everything for steel, now we'll go over here. What I want to do is I want to set it up for we can do. So we. We're gonna build the foundry. I'll just lay this down. It's not where it's going, but just so you guys can see it. The foundry, which this is what makes your steel ingots, and it requires coal and iron ore. That's why we're gonna go build it down there because that's where my coal is. And after this, uh, th there's three things I want to make. I want to make uh, the steel ingots, obviously. Uh, the steel beams and the steel pipes so obviously the ingots were all set because all we need is the foundry for that and the other thing I will need is we go to the assembler no it's not even you don't even need an assembler you need a constructor constructor steel beams just require ingots you know 30 per minute and uh, the steel pipes are just like the iron ones. They, they require 15 per minute. So I want to get <clears throat> sorry, most of this all set up. Oh, I'm also going to need the Mark II miner, which still will cost you uh, a bunch of steel items. That's why I say you need to make uh, steel because uh, the Mark II actually miner, which we're using the Mark I right now, actually doubles your ore production out of your ores. So if you have a a poor node or a what is it a, I forget what it's called whatever the, the lowest node which gives you 30 now you'll get 60 out of it if you have one that gives you 60 which is a normal mode now you'll get your 120 out of it and if you have a 120 pure node you'll get 240 out of it and my coal happens to be a pure node which means I will double my ore production out of there and uh, we'll be we'll be all set with that and I will be able to uh, you know uh, have a little little side conveyor which is going to help make steel also so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down there I'm going to start setting it up get it all going and I'm going to show you how it works all right guys I'm back so I have everything set up I do this is where all my power comes by comes from by the way I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen I think I have 13 14 of these running obviously I can do that now because I have uh, I doubled my steel, which is down there. I do have a Mark II miner on it, and I, I am using conveyor belt Mark III's now in most of this area just because they're so much faster. And of course, uh, getting 220, you do, you do need the Mark III's to make to actually uh, get the full potential out of that pure node I have up there. And so obviously it's all my power. Actually, what, how much power do I got? I think it's 700. 700 I'm only using 217 but keep in mind that of most of my my main base which is that way 
is sitting idle now because uh, every all the all the inventories are full, so they're sitting idle and then nothing's running. So I, that would probably double, almost double, maybe a little bit more than double if everything was actually running again. So this is my steel production, and so what I've done is I've upgraded these to the Mark IIs, the miners. Again, these are uh, impure nodes, so they give me 60 now instead of 30. And again, I have another one set up here. And I also have a bunch down this way. These are also impure, so they're giving me 60 each. And what these are doing, they're coming up, they're feeding. Some of them are actually still feeding uh, the truck stop, where that can go back to the base and give me some more ore. And uh, two of them, half of this one and a full one down there, are feeding that. So that means if we take a look at both of these uh, so iron ore is 45 per minute that's why this one's only running half or, or, or somewhat like half it's uh it's supplying notice i'm at 100 percent. i guess i should say so basically i'm i'm bringing in 45 i've done some splitting and merging to make make sure that this is uh this is correct anyway it, it still gets overloaded anyway because of the fact that uh some of the belts are getting uh, tied up and the same over here uh, with the ore and the coal I'm splitting them all up and it should actually be coming out to 45 per minute if 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 it was actually running 100% of the time but most of these since I have actually been running for a little bit are uh, pretty full right now why, why is this one not that one's not 100 but this one is it's weird so what happens is this is the first one I have made have going and this one is just purely dedicated to making steel uh, ingots and wait am I, am I messing this up so this makes the ore yeah okay and then this makes my just pure st uh, steel ingots okay let's let's turn this around <laughs> wow this makes steel ingots this makes uh, our steel beams and this pr produces 10 per minute and I am running at 100% I did get the efficiency out of that uh, out of the second one this is actually being split one is for I can just make my steel ingots and have a storage space for them and the other one is actually making uh, my pipes and the reason I have this one should be I think this one is plugged yeah it is yeah it is all right that's why it's not reading what what it, it usually runs at 100 percent but uh this one is there yep so i've actually split this so it's making 30 per minute so that's 15 going that way and 15 going this way obviously i've been running it for a while since i've last talked to you guys and everything is uh good so my steel production is pretty good. The problem is that I need motors, and motors take stators. And stators, actually, if we did go back to this, I'll go to the constructor. I don't even think I can make stators with this, can I? Nope, so that is actually an assembler. So stators require thir three steel pipes or 18 per minute, which is odd because you get 15 per minute from one of those. So it's an odd number, which makes things more difficult. And we also need wire or 60 per minute. So that means we need copper and that gives us our stator. And let's see. Actually, I wanted that back because then you need to actually make the motor which is two, uh, 10 per minute of rotors and 10 per minute of the stators. So again, odd number from what it actually should produce, but yeah, so that's, that's basic. Probably what I'm going to start doing next is uh, getting into uh, stator production and motor production, because obviously we're going to start needing them for the higher tiers, the unlock stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put that production facility down in this area 
because I still have two nodes of iron here and I think I have one two maybe three over there it looks like actually two so I have four iron nodes which should be plenty to set up that that system a stator and uh, uh, motor thing so yeah that'll be my next project what else can we cover today oh there's one thing I wanted to show you guys before I kind of leave here for after showing you guys what we just set up uh, a cool little thing I found out after doing a few things is say I want to set up a mark two, a minor mark two, but I don't have all the resources for it you're not going to run me over, are you? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> All right. Let me go over here. Uh, so I want to set this. So if I hit this up here, this add minor mark two to to-do list, the cool thing is that I get a little list on my left-hand side or right-hand side there that tells me everything I need for that. And actually, I have everything, but if I didn't have it, I could have, before I had my, my steel set up over there, I could just come in here and I can make what I needed. Uh, the cool thing is, is that it works with anything you find. So if I added a foundry to it, it would add the foundry to it and what I needed with the foundry. So I would need steel pipe. I only have 15 of them. Once I got 24, we could actually make it. And this can, can continue if I add an assembler, you know, and maybe I want more than one assembler. So yeah, that's pretty cool. If you guys don't, uh, haven't learned about that, that's a pretty cool thing to do. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make all I need to go on to the next tier of stuff is motors, and I think I'm going to make them by hand. That's why I have this kind of set up the way it is. And let me just grab a few things here. And let's see what we need to do to make motors. Again, we'll have to make the stators ourselves. I believe there's two stators per motor. So we'll have to double it. I think I need... <clears throat> I've, I've, I've made some already, so I won't lie. I've already put them all together. So to make motors by hand, I if I want 10... I want 10. Let's do, let's do 20. That means I need 40 stators, so we can... I can just kind of put that together. All right, so the stators are done. So now I'm going to do the motors. Get those all finished up. And now I should be able to drive down to my main base and hook these up. At least that's what I'm hoping. There we go. How are we doing on fuel on this thing, anyway? Good. All right. I have plenty of coal inside it, anyway. Oh, there's that truck again that ran me over. We can get a little bit of an overview of my base now, coming from this end of the end of the area, looking at how I've set everything up. I did put a building over uh, the rotor production area just to help with the frames for a second. So I do like that. That's where the rotor production is, and and the steel and the frames by the modular frames that we did last episode are, is in that building, and the rotors are in the building behind it. And then this is coming up on the main building that we all know and love. I did add a little bit of a building up there for my lookout tower, just because I, because I just kind of wanted. It. I thought it looked cool, so I did that. Obviously, I've cleared out everything over here that I could. Oh, and I have added a little trick I learned on Reddit: is that if you add a conveyor belt coming out, you can kind of show what each of these are holding and by the way this is a uh, a storage container mark two and I, I do plan on upgrading this one to a storage can uh, storage container mark two also so yeah so if you guys do this you can actually see what's in there because you know sometimes I don't play for a few days and I come in and I <laughs> I gotta remember what is in here and eventually I'm actually gonna have all of my items coming into this one central location and I'm probably also gonna move uh, my hub over here too that way the factory can be over there and everything I need over here and I'm gonna have all of my product and products over here too so this is gonna get a lot bigger so having me know where everything is by just the site it's a little bit harder to see see the steel plates and stuff but yeah that's the way it is so 
do I still have those? I got those in my pocket, right? I'm not quite sure why I have 100, so many rotors. I don't know what I was planning on doing with that, but. Uh, where the hell are they? Oh, there they are, 20. I think I needed 20. I hope I needed 20. If not, I'll have to make some more. So uh, the steel frames, obviously, and the modular frames, obviously, I set up the automation for that. So that's why we have that. Oh, my God, I did need more. Oh, I was way off. All right. Well, that's a bummer. So actually, you know, I'm going to go make some more, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I think I got everything together. I've been making some trips here back and forth to get the materials I needed and build what I needed. So we should be able to unlock tier. I, I don't know which tier it will be, if it will be both five and six or just five. I'm just guessing it's going to be just five. Uh, so there's 150. So we can send that out. Right? Oh. Oh, there's a new animation to it too that wasn't there before. Oh, that's so cool. Goodbye. Nice. So what did that do for us? Unavailable. So project delivery delivery will unlock tier seven and eight, which we don't have yet. So yeah, so that did unlock five and six. So let's go check it out. And uh, I didn't get any like acknowledgments or anything like that, which is kind of weird. Let's check this out. Do we have it? Yeah, there it is, five and six. So oil processing. Ooh, actually, I got something locked in tier, tier two, too. Oh, parachute. I just did that. I just uh, researched uh, fabric in here. And so in five, we have oil processing, which gives us oil pumps, oil refineries, uh, plastic, fuel, rubber, circuit boards, and... Uh, crude oil scanning. And then we have industrial manufacturing, which gives us a man. Wow, that's a four stage manufacturer. Holy crap. Uh, we got a truck, which is cool. And we got a computer. What is this? A computer is a complex logic machine that is used to control advanced behavior in machines. Hmm, I didn't quite know that existed. That's interesting. All right. And then tier six, we have ex. Extended power infrastructure, structure, which gives us a fuel generator. It consumes fuel to generate electricity for your power grid. Has an input so feeding fuel can be automated. And we get conveyor belt Mark IV. Ooh, and we get the jet pack, which just gives us plus five and plus the jet pack. And we have gas mask, and we got the filters. That's kind of neat. Man, that's kind of disappointing, though. That's all we can unlock. Actually, there's more stuff. Okay, so there's something I gotta remember, and I, I I'm been pretty bad at it, uh, at least showing it, is that you do have to do a lot of ex exploration, and you do have to uh, kind of bring stuff in to unlock a whole bunch of stuff. And I've been reading in Reddit that there is a particular ore I have to go scan and uh, research in here, and that will unlock a whole bunch of new tier of stuff like a tier like an oil processing of stuff that I can do and I'm sure there's more some more stuff that I can do like that but uh, I mean it, it all comes with time right so actually this is gonna do it for this episode guys We're running about 20 minutes now so uh, next episode I'm gonna set up the motor automation actually let's take a look at what I need for motors to unlock some of this stuff so motors are 50 on that 50 on that. What about tier 6? Tier 6 is 100, 50, and 50. So <laughs> technically I could do it all by hand, but I got a feeling that once tier uh, 7 and 8 come come around, and it looks like there's a tier 9. It's if, if this is 
7. This is 8. That means there'll be a tier 9, too. None of this is ready yet in the alpha, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. So next next episode, guys, we're gonna guys we're gonna set up the motor and stator automation, and we'll go from there. So this is Malkuth, 1974. See you guys later, Malkuth, out.